everyone are you guys okay i hope you did a fun weekend and i am back again welcome to my channel but for to those who have not known me i am lee romera taking up a bachelor of secondary education at moist for today's vlog i'm gonna share you an educational matter about the topic what is contemporary what is a fiction and what are those contemporary fiction books example are you ready guys what are you waiting for let's start okay first what is a contemporary means a contemporary definition is a person or a thing that is existing at the same time as another or else belonging to or occurring in the present second what is affection means affection definition is a literature in the form of prose prose means written or spoken language in its ordinary form without metrical structure okay next third what is a contemporary fiction book if we combine the two word contemporary plus fiction as one means contempor contemporary fiction book is a fiction genre that made up of stories that could happen to real people and in real setting Contemporary fiction describes stories that set in the modern times and a kind of realistic form that doing that that don't bring any elements of fantasy and when an author create a novels or stories only focuses on making everything realistic as possible then most common specialization that the author focuses on the issue likes for examples relations sexism crime or poverty and examples of the most popular contemporary fiction books are in this link you you may click it and search or search in google www.goodreads.com if you want to read the novels you can also sign up either you connect with facebook or sign in with google account for you to open the stories so i have there the the four most popular contemporary fiction books that i choose from that website first the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime novel by mark haddon second eleanor olipant is com is completely fine novel by gail honeyman third little fires everywhere novel by celeste nug and it is a new york time best seller and last one the fourth story the girl with a dragon with a dragon tattoo novel by stig larson an international best ceiling novel okay i'm gonna tell you about the synopsis of the four choosing most my four choosing most popular contemporary fiction books first is the curious incident of the dog in the night time it is a murder mystery and it is and it features a 15 year old narrator mr christopher bonnie who suffers from asperger's syndrome when he finds his neighbor dog was murdered and he sets out on a journey which turns his whole world upside down second the contemporary fiction book eleanor olipant is completely fine as a story of a social misfit with a traumatic past who became enamored with a singer with whom she believes she is destined to be with this novel deals with the themes of isolation and loneliness and a transformational journey of eleanor towards a fuller understanding of life and self the third synopsis novel little is little fires everywhere that i chosen is about explorers of 
wit of secrets and nature of art and identity and ferocious pull of motherhood and uh, danger of believing that following rules can avert disaster the fourth synopsis is the girl with the dragon tattoo novel is a murdered mystery family saga love story and financial intrigue it's about the disappear runs it, it is about a disappearance 40 years ago of harriet vanger a young scion of one of the wealthiest in family in sweden and about her octo Genarian uncle determined to know the truth about what she believes her murder and Those are my chosen synopsis most popular contemporary fiction books international and New York bestseller novel uh, My last questions guys uh, My question is why do you think the author made made this novel and and what for is the author wanted to know us um for me the author made this novel for he she hopes that the reader experience that she he may experience of reading stories or novel may give the reader better understanding from the issues you read from that book and that's all for today's vlog. I hope you guys learned from me and see you in my next video. Please subscribe, subscribe and follow for more videos update. Thank you. Bye-bye. God bless.